Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm kitting up for Spring Fling and Easter Things Challenge and it's been run by Diamond Painting Fanatics. Uh, check out their Facebook group. All the details are there if you want to take part. There's a form that you need to fill in. The lady organising it does have a YouTube channel so I will pop her link down below. She's a lovely lady and she's done some really good videos. So, um, Diamond Art Studio UK um, I believe are giving some prizes but I will get all the full details and put them down below. So that's wonderful and I thought as soon as it's spring fling and these two things, but, well what's better than a lovely bunny in a field of little spring flowers um, and yeah I just loved this picture when I saw it. Um, this one is from Cosmolery and it cost five dollars and 99 cents it has 20 colors and it is a 30 by 40. you'll see that i'm organized now i have got my stickers from uh, the lovely rebecca at uh, four kids at 147 you can get these as a free download on one four kids dot set four kids at 147.com losing my teeth um and she is actually selling some of the stickers now as well i've done these myself so yeah, I put when I get my drills and I've checked them off, I put them in a, a bag with one sticker on and then I put the other sticker on the canvas and then I just need to match them up when I need to do my kitting up. Um, also as well, putting the sticker on the front cover of your plastic sheet tells you which side of your plastic sheet um, needs to go on your canvas if you're going to continue using this and which side don't put on your canvas. It doesn't look like it but there are a right and a wrong side on a lot of these plastic sheets and if you put the wrong side down on your canvas it can pull all your glue off um, so just be careful with that but yeah just gives you a heads up on that so I've got all my um, little stickers on my uh, boxes ready what I did is photocopy my little um, key code down there and I've just run it through my Zyron sticker maker so that they were all sticky and that they're now all on my little uh, containers. So let's get these drills out and get them into the little pot. Let's see how we get on. I love this book. Look at his little face. It's really sweet. I do like rabbits. Okay, there are DMC codes on these, but I do tend to go by the number um, or the letter that's on the canvas at the moment. I am getting more and more used to my yeah, DMC numbers. Um, I've come from a card making paper crafting background, not from um, an embroidery or a cross stitch background. So I'm not used to DMC numbers and I wish I'd known more about them when I first started. Um, and I maybe wouldn't have had so many drills that were just colour coded rather than put in DMC numbers. <laughs> I wouldn't have had so many spares. Okay, so let's have a look at these drills and see where we are. So this is number one. I'm not sure how many of these will actually fit um, into these little pots. Let me get a tray. Uh, while I'm doing this, I do like to have my bigger tray, white tray that doesn't have any guards or anything on it because then it catches any drills that uh, spill. I'm uh, famous for chucking drills all over and spilling them as if you've seen any of my other videos you'll probably have seen me throwing things around. Let me uh, might help if I've got the little pot opened first and just tip those into there. There you are, look first one along. And I've spilt them already. So, yep, so that's number one there. And that's number one there. So let's pop those. And they've fitted into that little pot nicely. There's an awful lot of confetti. Oh, look, I've got the wrong pots out. I thought I'd got the ones with the lids that shut properly. But these are one of my older ones. And because they've been used so much, they're not shutting on me properly. So now let's get number two into number two. I have to make sure I don't drop any of these containers, otherwise uh, they will go everywhere. Maybe it'd be easier to just put them straight in the tray <laughs> than throw them all over. Sometimes you can get these to just bend out a little bit and get that to bend in a little bit. And they do close. See how long it stays closed. Okay, 
that's the trouble these were a cheaper make of container as well and i have had quite a bit of trouble with these as you can see they don't always shut very well once they're in this little container though and you close the lid it does lock it does have your little locks on the side so it does keep them secure but just be careful while you're working on them okay and number three this one see whether all these will fit in i don't think they will i think there are some colors that i may need to put in an extra bag but we'll see okay so how is everybody doing today um we've got quite a nice sunny day today look i've just put all those in number four instead of number three and now i've just tipped some of those out so let's just get those oh i'll leave them in there for now Okay, so let's just tip those. I've got some extra. Oh, they're all just going to fit in. Okay, so there you are. Kitting up the Liz way. <laughs> but as long as you get the end results right, it doesn't matter how you do it. <laughs> okay, let's just get these into here. And again. Say, um, I had a, an eye operation, well I had two eye operations last year and uh, it's resulted in better eyesight than I had but still not 100% and my depth of field tends not to be brilliant so I tend to find that when I'm pouring things um, or drinking a cup of tea I can't see the bottom of the cup or I can't see where I'm pouring and I do tend to miss things a little bit so you'll have to forgive me but hey ho it all adds to the fun <laughs> Let's get number five. There are just 20 colours in this one and uh, it's a 30 by 40 so it'll be about um, for a 35 by about 25-ish um, once it's done but I just think it's such a pretty picture. Okay I think I'm going to end up spilling all of these. It's a little bit dark in here but I'm trying to keep it darker so that we don't get quite so many shadows when I have the lights on get an awful lot of shadow while I'm filming um, I will have to get myself a bit more organised for filming but I'm not doing too badly so, number six okay yeah so the weather's not too bad here and um, we finally managed to be able to go into the conservatory uh, in the last couple of days and sit in there without freezing to death and coats on it's quite nice um, hubby has decided to start a jigsaw I'm trying to get him into diamond painting, but I, I don't think he's going to diamond paint. Um, I keep saying his eyes won't be able to see the beads, but he does watch me and I see him watching me and I can see him itching to have a go. So we'll keep working on him. I think it's something that's so relaxing and just it takes me to my happy place. So I, I do like doing my diamond painting. All right, all our schools are opening tomorrow as well, so we'll see how that goes. Um, from the lockdown, the grandchildren are all going back to school, so I'll have to give them a ring and see how they've gone. Um, my eldest grandson, it's his birthday tomorrow, so that's a bit rotten. He starts back at school on his birthday. <laughs> he's had all this time off and then it's his birthday and he's going back to school. But I suppose at least he'll be seeing his friends. That's not too bad. Okay, number nine. This one looks quite full, so we'll see how we go. They're quite handy, these little containers, when the lids work. Um, you know, they're, they're quite nice to just use and tip out and just have smaller quantities. I'm not sure all these are. Oh, yeah, they're going to just all fit in. That's wonderful. Yep. Yeah great okay possibly a little bit full but we'll see we should be doing okay oh and this one's very full so we'll see where we go with this one I may need a bag for this one so i'll keep the bag to one side i keep checking my numbers as well because i'm good at putting things down and then forgetting what number it is okay yeah these aren't going to go in here so what i'm going to do is get a little resealable bag and tip all those into there and I'll put 
the spare ones in there. And then what I do is just cut the number off the front of the bag rather than using a sticker and not being able to read my writing and then just pop that into the little bag. So that's those spare drills and then the little bag that I've been keeping my drills in which is just a 5x7 card bag, uh, uh, sorry a, C, a C5 card bag um, and just pop those in there so that's my spares and they'll just get filled up from uh, my little tubs will just get filled up once I've used them. Okay, so next number is number 11. Oh, this is a nice red colour. This will be nice, nice highlights on here. Oh, do you know, I still check myself when I use the word nice. When we were at school, we had a teacher, uh, an English teacher, and she hated the word nice. And if you used it, she used to then make you write out all the alternatives you could use instead of nice and it stuck with me and I still cringe when I use it and I try not to use it it's funny how things stay with you from school isn't it and it's a long long time since I was at school <laughs> okay let's get the next number in I think every single bag I've spilt with these but they do seem like nice quality drills there's no static with them um, and there doesn't seem to be much trash at all. Let me just get rid of my rubbish off there in a second. I've got a little bin down here. Pop those in there. Okay. And then the next one. Ooh, number 13. Oh, look, and I've put these the wrong way around, but never mind. Unlucky for some. All right. Number 13. I have to remember when I'm doing these that I've got them the wrong way around but as I say because of my eyesight I do tend to double check and look at things more uh, to make sure I'm doing the right ones. I've got a big light magnifying glass that I use for my diamond painting um, and it is wonderful it's, it's really changed things because I can see so clearly and it's on like a, a gooseneck so you, you can move it around and uh, angle it wherever you need it and uh, yeah, it's got different strengths of lighting on it as well. So on a night time, I put it on like a, a night time mode. Uh, during the day, I can put it on a daytime mode. So yeah, it's a, a good light. I'll uh, maybe do a whip and chat and show you it. Oh, this is the next one. Number 15 is a big full bag. So these definitely are going to go in here. So let's just uh, get this one. It's a lovely blue colour. That must be the sky, but it must go a lot of other places as well. Can't just be that top sky bit there that's all these drills. Uh, there's definitely other drills as well there. So let's get a little baggy. Pop those in there. Okay. So we're not doing too bad. We're up to number 15. Um, and we're only on the second bag, so, so I've used this one with it only being 20 colours. Uh, that was number 15, so let me see if I put these on one side then I pick up the wrong one. Mind you, I think I'd realise if it was supposed to be the blue sky and I was using the wrong colour. <laughs> Although you never know. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Let's pop that back. And there with the other one. Okay, and number 16 is another lovely blue. Until I started card making, I was real into blue and I loved blue. And I do wear a lot of blue as well because I'm quite pale skinned. But once I got into card making, I just absolutely fell in love with pinks and hot pinks and really bright, vibrant colours. And it seems to have stuck with me. Although hot pink doesn't really suit me. <laughs> and I think my hubby would think I'd gone mad if I suddenly started wearing hot pink. Okay. But as you can see, I've got a, a nice pink uh, light pad and a nice pink craft mat here that I'm using. But I have put a blue one on top as well for a bit of contrast. Okay, that's like... Um, a mint green, a very pale mint green colour, that one. So, good colour. Okay. 
Oh, it's a lovely deep purple colour. Now, purple suits me. What colours suit you? What are your favourite colours for wearing? Um, I'm quite fair skinned, so I tend to find that black's not a brilliant colour on me because it does tend to uh, seep my colour away. But in my younger days, I did go through a bit of a punk rock phase. So, uh, with the black eyeliner and the red lips and the spiked up hair. That was quite a funny. And no, I don't have any photographs whatsoever. My poor dad used to say to me, I don't really like your hair like that. Are you going out looking like that? And it was my grandma that used to say, leave her alone. She's only young. <laughs> Yay, grandma. <laughs> oh, just got that one stuck there. Okay, and last colour. So this is a nice quick fitting up. And it's number 25 and it's a lovely mustardy yellow colour. Bright sunshiny colour there. There you are. Okay, and that's all those kitted up. And as I say, those lids aren't fitting brilliantly. But once these are all done, you can just uh, clip those and they're nice and secure in there. But look at those colours. They're great. You just see them through. Nice mix of colours, all nice spring florally colours and a little bunny. And we ended up with just two in our bag, so that's great. Don't need to worry about those. So that's all now kitted up and ready. And I believe um, spring thing flings are sorry, spring fling and Easter things. <laughs> starts around about the 20th of uh, March so there is still time to enter if you want to um, and yeah it's great so thank you for organising it to uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics it's uh, only a second or third challenge I think I've done so I'm really looking forward to it and I love posting uh, my uh, progress and seeing everybody else's just get rid of these extra drills look that I've dropped I'm not going to keep them I used to try and fish them all out and put them in the right ones, but I'm not doing that now. So, we're all kitted up. We've got our diamonds. We've got the spare diamonds that are all nicely labelled. Uh, we only needed the two baggies, so I'll put my baggies away. And that's how I kit up. <laughs> I don't always throw them all over, honest. So, if you've enjoyed this video... Uh, then uh, please like and subscribe and if you want to join diamond painting fanatics if you can't find it uh, just drop me a message or write in the comments down below and i'll give you as much info as i can so thanks for watching and i hope to chat to you all again soon bye for now